Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Welcome to Red's Effects, the same show that on occasion is directed by JJ Abrams. That's not true. Anyway, this week, if you don't know by now, which you should because you, you got this far in the video, we're doing fire effects. Fire? Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. Yes. Fire, the good friend of cinema. Fire has been around since the beginning. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. Now, there are two ways to do fire in any sort of compositing program. You can either use stock footage as real fire filmed on a black or green screen background that you can key out and place over your footage, or a complete CG simulation. Now, while HitFilm 4 Express does contain methods in order to do CG fire simulations, this week we're doing completely all in stock footage because I believe it looks more realistic because it's actually a real fire. But if you guys do want to see how to do it with a CG simulation or a 3D effect, comment down below, leave a message on my Twitter and maybe I'll get to that next week or another week. And in order to complete this effect, you can download the pack in the description that contains the fire stock footage which I got from a website called Detonation Films. This is a free website so I thought I might as well just give you the fire asset instead of giving you the link. You can also download the fire sound effect down below. Now the ember footage and the smoke is on my website called Action VFX and it is free to download but it's not mine to give away so I put the link in the description so you can go download it yourself from that website. For the burn textures and the burn marks you can just search on Google for an image but I've done that for you and that image is also in the download pack. So grab that pack, jump into it from Voice Express and let's burn some suckers. Sure. Okay, let's get the show on the road. I should mention that this process is basically identical to that of an explosion. Just swap the fire footage for explosion footage and Bob Jungle. But now, fire. As you can see, my footage shows that I've stacked some rocks to be the source for the fire. And I suggest you guys also add something to your scene for the fire to stick to, otherwise it'll end up looking like it's floating in mid-air. So, the first step, believe it or not, is not adding the fire, but rather the damage, because that fire is going to burn those rocks. So, I'll grab the burn texture from the download pack and add it to the beginning of my comp. Now, I'll change the blend mode to multiply to remove the white background. Now I'll scale it down to fit my rocks and also change the opacity to around 90% while we're at it. You can go ahead and duplicate those burn marks a bunch and scale, rotate, flip and position them all over your surface until they cover it fully. Next up, smoke. So let's place this smoke clip from Action VFX into the timeline and switch the blend mode of that as well to multiply. Now the smoke is a bit too opaque for my particular liking, so I'm gonna change the opacity down to around 85%, but you can change it whatever you like. Now you can go ahead and scale and rotate this as well into place of your surface. Make sure that your smoke clip extends out of the frame, otherwise you'll get this butt ugly hard edge, and no one wants that. Now it's finally time to add our fire. So grab the fire clip from the download pack and chuck it into your timeline. Now to remove our good old black background, I'll hit the effects panel, key in and select demult. 
This removes the black, but I want to thicken my fire up a bit and make it look as if it's not so transparent. So I'll go back to the effects panel, go to color correction and drag the curves effect onto my fire clip. Now I'll go to the controls panel and in the curves effect change the channel to alpha and then I'll pull that up just a tad. Right so, just two more steps left. To make the fire glow, we can duplicate the fire, head to the effects panel, blurs, and apply a blur effect to it. Now rack that blur amount way up. Also, untick clamp to edge just so we don't get any of those ugly edges once again. So we glowed up the fire, but not its surroundings. So let's do that. Click the good old plus icon and create a new plane. Make it an orange looking color like so, and call it lighting. Now turn it off and using the freehand mask tool, throw an oval looking mask around the ground near the fire. Like so. Now turn the plane back on and head to the controls panel, mask settings, shape and smack that feather amount to infinity. Well, maybe not infinity exactly. Now drop the opacity of the plane to around 30 to 40 percent based on your liking. If you shot your footage at night, the opacity would have to be a bit higher because the fire would illuminate its surroundings more. Then, finally, change the blend mode of that plane to overlay. You can also add some flicker to this layer by messing around with the opacity and keyframing it down to zero every so often. Whew! And that, my friends, is all done. And there you have it, Fire Headphone 4 Express using stock footage. Not that hard, quite a bit of steps involved, but once you get all of those down, you will have a sweet, burning, fiery flame. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see any particular effect from a movie or a TV show, just request it in the comments down below, or send me a message on my Twitter. Until next time, go make some things burn, and um, yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.